Good evening and welcome to Formula Pi Challenge Round 1 Part 2. Sorry for the slight delay in us getting online tonight. Uh, we had some issues with lots of technology and traffic and, 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 and. Um, but we're here, we've made it, uh, we're all in one piece just about, so uh, welcome welcome, and thank you for joining us. My name's Claire Pollard, I will be guiding you through tonight's proceedings once again, uh, like last night. Um, we have one person to be rerun from last night, uh, that'll be Make Space Randers. Uh, there was a, an issue with the code uh, copying that was taking place at our end, and we overwrote a card that we shouldn't have done, so... Uh, bearing that in mind, uh, we're running you again tonight. There will be no other reruns tonight, um, unless there are similar software failures tonight. But we have been extra careful, and we've now made sure that everyone is okay. So if things don't run, it will probably be hardware failures. But as usual, we'll investigate everything, and we will let you know how we get on. Uh, it's very quiet in the chat. I feel like maybe I haven't put the volume on or something and I can swear much like I did last night and nobody will notice. No, it's good. Um, I have to also kind of apologise if there's any noise you can hear in the background, like music or anything like that. Uh, we have a pesky gym that have turned up next door and some nights they not play dubstep pesky. and other nights they don't play dubstep. They're not pesky, they're lovely. Alright, they're lovely, but they do <laughs> fitness. I mean, who does fitness? Really? Uh, who does fitness? Um, so we, we will do, you know, we'll do our best um, if you can hear like raving going on in the background then I can only apologise but you know what can you do um, so we will as per usual crack on with racing I'm going to load up everything that I've got here check that I'm in the right place am I in the right place I am in the right place let's go so we're going to introduce the first two robots that are lining up tonight for the second part of this Formula Pi Challenge Round 1 uh, first up, we have Ecstatic, apparently. Uh, that's not according to my list. Uh, I Ooh. believe you've left... You've got Ecstatic and Make Space for I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh. If you have that, you've left last night's last race in. Nope. Didn't save it. <laughs> it's all right, everyone. It's just, you know, little pesky controller. It's another pesky little bug to work out. I've literally... I got here a minute ago before we put the feed on so I haven't had time to prepare anything um, so here we are first up tonight properly first up we have double Formula Pi champions Lambda P Racing it's wonderful to have them back uh, from Bern in Switzerland uh, and they have quite a lot of Kodo experience mostly Java now they were running a Java setup uh, for some of their racing last year they're running a Python setup when they wanted to be a bit safer with the racing um, but it's paid off for them uh, they've won two Formula Pies now out of three we've run and they've done really really well uh, next up we have Sheldon's Fury, uh, who are a new team for this year. Uh, they have a wonderful lid, which is um, just like the picture of the dog. He does look quite furious. Uh, they are from Waterbury in the States. They've been dabbling in code since 1996, which is great. That's a good amount of experience, liking that. So hopefully tonight will be a good uh, first round for Sheldon's Fury, and it won't be too furious, hoping that they can get some nice smooth laps in here and avoid the troll bots. Uh, we have five troll bots all in the same place as they were last night. We've got little markers on the ground to ensure that everyone gets the same run. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. Tim's got a thumb at me, so we must be good to go. Let's go. Okay, start the light sequence, please. So for those that are new, the lights will go red, uh, sorry, green, red, green, and then the robots will move away autonomously to try and avoid the troll bots that are parked on the track. And we've got two away. Fabulous. That's what we want to see. A little bit of slowing down to avoid. And this is a, a tactic that we've seen other people uh, use to great effect. Uh, is this Sheldon's Fury getting a brilliant start here? Oh, what a great first start for them. For their first, uh, ooh, spoke too soon. Little clip there of that robot, but they flip themselves over and it seems like they are back on track almost. A little bit of a wobble, but gives Lambda P a chance to come back. Lambda P have detected a crash and then have gone round them. So Lambda P have overtaken and then Lambda P have taken the first lap. So scoring as we go for this uh, is two points per lap and then two points for taking the win. So uh, last night I said that it went up to six laps. I was misinformed, I misread a table and uh, I should have known that it went uh, to two laps. Two points per lap and two points for the win. So, so far this will be two points for Lambda P. Um, and two, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna load up the table because I'm, I'm doubting myself again to count points. That'll be four points for Lambda P so far and two points for Sheldon's, but they are nip and tuck. 
Ooh, Lambda P just deflecting Sheldon's fury there. Uh, hopefully he won't go into too much of a rage as he flips over on the track. Uh, but he's off again. Lambda P using a slowing down technique to try and avoid things. And this is something we saw last night. Was there seem to be two approaches to avoidance. Either you take it slow and you go nice and steady and you look at the object and think about how to move around it, or you go hell for leather, you go hard and you smash into the back of the thing and then reverse like hell to get out of there. It's like a smash and grab approach to overtaking. Um, both are valid moves and they're both just as good as each other. Um, but it's it's interesting to see that both of these robots have gone for a slow approach. Lambda P now coming around for their third lap, I believe. Uh, Sheldon's Fury have now got stuck, which is not so good. But Lambda P really moving slowly and then making it a conscious effort to avoid, which is great. This is absolutely fabulous. Um, great to see them thinking about things and then avoiding robots. Sheldon's Fury have now freed themselves and they are currently one lap behind Lambda P. Uh, like I said, double Formula Pi champions, really good calibre here in the racing and they're doing very, very well. Uh, good evening to everyone in the chat. Yeah, uh, the reason the event might not have been showing as a live event was because uh, I forgot to push a button last night to put it up as a queue. Um, I will not forget tonight. Um, it's on my list of things to do. So, Lambda P here, four laps, uh, looking good for them to take the win here and get the extra two points. Uh, their avoidance, like I said, slowing down and thinking about what they can see in front of them and then moving off uh, when they need to. See a reverse, a turn, and then away. See, so, yeah, it's very, very effective. Sheldon's Fury seems to have gone very quiet. Uh, stuck on Trollbot in the first corner. Ah, the camera cannot see the robot, um, but the wheel is stuck. Uh, something that we've we've seen previously is that because of the wide uh, clearance of these robots, uh, they struggle to get around. But that's it, we're done. So that is Lambda P taking the win there with four laps and Sheldon's Fury with two laps. So that will be uh, four points for Sheldon's Fury and 10 points for Lambda P, which is a great start for their 2018 summer Formula Pi campaign. Tim, any comments? It was great. I, I love the avoidance. Fantastic. You, you know, does what it says on the tin. It's brilliant. Mm. Thank you, Tim. Insightful <laughs> as always. 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 <laughs> so, whilst Aaron is resetting the troll bots and getting out the next two competitors to have their uh, time started, I'm going to crack open the spin view again to introduce the next two people that are lining up to race. So first up on the outside here, we have Red Pie Racing from Sydney in Australia. They have 10 years professional experience of coding and uh, Tim will be very pleased to know that they are another Australian candidate. He always cheers for the Australians because Tim himself is an Australian. Um, he has, we've stolen him in the UK and we've left him here to build robots. Uh, to our every desire, um, but he, but these these guys Repar Racing did really well in, in in training and it went really well for them. So hopefully, fingers crossed tonight will go just as well. Next up, we've got our second uh, time of entering Formula Pi for the Solar Cats from Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, ranging from zero coding experience to intermediate level Python and Java. Uh, they're a team based at the Central New Mexico uh, College uh, Technical College. That is, um, we've known them for a little while now because they've been to Pi Wars. They've brought a couple of teams over to Pi Wars and competed with us in Cambridge. Um, and I've had now two teams in this as well, which is fantastic. Um, and I've been told uh, that Kelly uh, sometimes, sorry, Kerry, uh, sorry, Kerry <laughs> sometimes lets you watch it in class, which I highly approve of. So um, hello, if you're watching. Um, I've been told that I have to string things out. I was given the string things out sign uh, to Tim. And uh, because I think he's had to go upstairs, you can see him in the top corner there, just uh, looking like he's playing around on a table with something. He's swapping over lids for the next competitors so that we've, because we don't have enough robots to run everybody. We've had so many competitors join in this year. Um, we're actually having to build more robots to fill the demand for robots. Um, so Tim there is furiously swapping lids for the people who are going to be last up this evening, lids and cards. So he'll be frying micro SD cards about at great pace. Um, so I've been told to pad furiously, which is never good because he always does it when I'm not prepared, which is, you know, sad times. Um, so let's talk about Raspberry Fields. Uh, we, we spoke about it last night. Um, yes, I've just seen a message. They are watching in class. Brilliant. This is the best way of learning. You get to hear me waffle for an hour and watch us break robots. This is the best lesson ever. 
I wish I had classes like this when I was in school. It's just, the, like university would have flown by if I'd have had classes like this. Amazing. Um, so yeah, Raspberry Fields. Let's talk Raspberry Fields. Thirtieth um, and first of July. Thirtieth uh, of June, first of July. Uh, we will be heading to Raspberry Fields. Uh, myself, Tim, and Charlie will be there. Um, if you are coming, please come and say hello. Uh, I will be doing a talk on Formula Pi at 1.30 on the Saturday, quick lightning talk. It will just be basically explaining about the series and why you shouldn't work with the uh, live robots, as we amply demonstrate every week. Um, as you saw Aaron there, just pop on again to give the robots a cycle. And now I can see the two lights are in place. So uh, we are ready to go. Both robots have synced and are ready to set off. I have to wait for Tim to come back down. And he, I can see he's just moved there. He stepped up, does that mean he's, he's good to go? See, I've been, I've been left uh, to, to pad furiously. Uh, this is the second part of the challenge series. The first part was on last night on YouTube, if you want to catch that. Uh, that's available on our YouTube channel now. Uh, we will be racing in two weeks time, so we'll have five robots on the track going at it uh, head to head. Uh, that'll be probably after Pi Fields. I'm sure we will tweet about it hugely before it happens. Uh, Tim has re-entered the room. Here he is. Oh, he's back. See, I can relax now, he's back. Does that mean we can go now? I think from the look of it, one of them didn't uh, power up the first time uh, and Aaron's done a restart. Yes, I saw but that. I think they are ready now. Excellent, let's set them off then. I can see that um, the team from Albuquerque are watching right now in Great. class, so no pressure. Okay, start light sequence, please. So say hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Uh, he does not uh, as told, bless him. Joke. I know. It never gets older, does it? No. <laughs> so let's see. Both robots are away. Excellent. Oh, but the solar cats just bashed into the back of that one on the inside lane, that troll bot just getting them. And have as have uh, Red Pie Racing, uh, who have now gone the wrong way. Uh, but solar cats are away now, taking the lead, just uh, crept in. Just mounting that robot and... Uh, but they have, that was a little move to avoid then. I saw that, it made a little turn and tried to avoid. It's got the wheel stuck, so the camera won't be able to see the width of the robot. Hopefully they can get unstuck on that, but it has left Red Pie Racing to, oh, a beautiful little manoeuvre there. Nice Lovely pirouette. little pirouette. <laughs> oh, that was, that was stunning, uh, 9.5 from this <laughs> judge. Uh, that was beautiful little bit of dancing around there. Um, I can see the solo cats are now just gently removing the troll bot. That's the best way to be, just give them a, a good push. Red Pie still haven't got across the finish line. And, oh, Solar Cats are going backwards. Oh no, turn around, other way, other way. I want to be like, um, do you remember when you used to play like Gran Turismo and the big red arrows would come up on the screen and say, nope, you're going the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I want to be like that, up there with a little board, like flashing the arrows saying, go the other way, the other way, the other way. Let's see how we, if we can get anyone to get across the first lap here. Red Pie Racing seems to be reversing and not going anywhere. Solar Cats are stuck on that first troll. They've turned around and they're off. There we go. They've, they've released themselves and they're off. Can they avoid that guy? Yes, they can. That's the second troll bot. It's successfully navigated around. Very stuttery tonight. Sorry. I am. Um, it's because I ran in and I was uh, high on adrenaline from, from getting through all that traffic and dodging things like these robots should be. So here we go. Solar Cats now are freed off Red Pie Racing, but get themselves getting stuck. Oh dear. This is, uh, oh, come on, Solar Cats are so close to getting their first lap here, come on. They've now got themselves tangled completely. Ooh, that looks like a free there, so that means that the Solar Cats have completed their first lap. Yes, that is one on the board. So pushing this other troll bot out of the way now to try and make a little gap for themselves on the inside line there. Crafty little thought, and uh, best thing to do, shove them all out of the way, make yourself a good inside line. Or back over the start finish line for Solar Cats. They're heading back round that straight again. Can they turn round in time so that they don't negate that lap? They've bashed into this robot. Can they reverse out? Red Pie Racing still having a go. 30 seconds left on the clock. Looks like Red Pie Racing could hear clock up a second lap. Let's see how we go. Uh, that is a second lap in the bag there for Red Pie Racing. It looks like the Solar Cats might have got stuck and have, might have beached themselves on that troll bot. Oh, no, that... Oh, ooh. I hear the bangs before um, they happen. There was a bang. I think it was just right above my head. It's the, the, the delay. There we go. So Solar Cat's coming around for a second lap here. That is four points in the bag, I believe. Or is that unlapping themselves? That might be unlapping themselves from the previous bit that they went around. 
so they're not going to get another lap in. So that's it, I'm afraid, for the Soda Cats and Red Pie Racing. So Red Pie Racing take the win there with uh, two points, uh, two laps, sorry, and Soda Cats have one point, uh, one lap, sorry. Oh, gosh. I'm everywhere, Tim. Can we start again? <laughs> Can we just kill this feed and, and do, it, do it again? I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling today. <laughs> so we've got uh, two points for the Solar Cats, and uh, that'll be six points for Red Pie Racing for the two laps, plus two for the win. Good start. Comments, Tim? Uh, lots of barging, lots of crashing into, uh, into robots. Not really much avoidance. Uh, so not huge point scorers, are they? But uh, but still, it's lots of fun. A little bit of reversing, a little bit of bashing. There was a little bit of reversing, good. yes. It gives Aaron something to do. <laughs> he will be very we busy now up there. He has to put all the troll bots back put in there. All the troll bots. Every troll, single troll one. Bots. Oh, my speech is broken. Can you come and do this bit and I'll do your job? <laughs> I'm nowhere near talented enough to, to do your job. I think you'd be amply good enough tonight. <laughs> I think you would See, be... we've, we've only had the one swear... I swore last, last night. night, yeah, breaking news, everyone. Um, um, I swore last night. If I was there, uh, there'd be lots of swearing, so <laughs> I'd just keep quiet. I'm on my best behaviour tonight, I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> um, I did actually swear last night, uh, which was the first time in four years of, of doing this, or four seasons now, two four years. Seasons, yes. Yeah, so I, I think I've done quite well to get this far without swearing. If you know me, um, you know that I'm quite sweary. <laughs> so that's quite, it's, it's quite an achievement for me to make it uh, this far, um, in all honesty. Uh, doing a lightning talk will be tough enough at Pie Fields, won't it? They will. Right, next up, we've got uh, two more robots lining up, ready to go. And first up, we, it says number 21, question mark, question mark, question mark. It's a good job I actually know who number 21 is. Uh, number 21 is John Satterfield, hmm. who is the first, he, he was in the first season of Formula Pi, he got a top 10 result in the first season, did very, very well, uh, kind of dipped his toe in season two and then disappeared for a while. And now he's back, he's racing again, but we haven't updated his data. I believe he is from the States. I can't remember exactly where, but John, it's great to have you back. Good to see you again. And next up, another new racer for this year, number 112 is Codebreaker from Peterborough in the UK. Um, I can see Alex is in the chat tonight, who is Mr. Codebreaker, uh, so good luck. About five years knowledge on and off of Python, and uh, a regular I know from Twitter who's in the Pi community, so it's good to see you here, and Peterborough's only just up the road, really. Mm. We can wave at you from here. Um, so great to have you with us, and thank you for joining us, and good luck tonight. Uh, it looks like we've just had another, I think that was... Uh, another cycle? Yeah, John Satterfield's one. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle in my seat a little bit. There you go. I realise that I get excited and I lean off my seat and I almost uh, I almost fall off because I'm getting a bit excited. Um, Sim UK has just come on and said, we'll have to cheer the local one. Yeah. Yeah, local Peterborough, local. Good BMX track in Peterborough if, you, if you're interested. <laughs> that's, my, that's the only reason I visit Peterborough is for the track. And uh, other than that, I don't often venture that north into the, uh, into the fens. Well, talking of fens, am I allowed to mention that, Tim? Oh, that's a very good question. I mean, we haven't officially said anything. Yeah, it's a bit we? previous, isn't it? Maybe I'll keep that one to myself then. Ooh. Just, just keep keep yourselves um, keep yourselves locked into our Twitter channel. Um, we have some news for people who are in the fens um, soon. That's all I can say, really. <laughs> It'll be it'll be the best thing to happen to the fens since the Dutch dug all those big, massive ditches. I think that's looking like it's not booting. So that is John Satterfield in the red robot on the left, not starting. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah. It, uh, I haven't seen it to uh, change its light. I have not either. So the lights go through the uh, the red, green, blue power cycle. Then it goes into battery voltage monitoring mode and then the lights should change to uh, one of the two allocated colors right uh, which is red for left and uh, and green for right alex says he lives quite near the bmx track yeah i wish i lived quite near the bmx track as well I'm <laughs> well you wouldn't have me here that's the problem um, 
Are we, are we going to set off then? We will, yeah. Okay, so it looks like John Satterfield might not start here on the left, but hopefully Codebreaker on the right will get away this time, fingers crossed. Okay, start light sequence, please. So, let's see how they get on. So green, red, green, and then we'll be away. And he's off. Alex and the Codebreaker car have gone. Oh, really making a mince. I think that's the car breaker code. Sorry? Car breaker code. Car breaker <laughs> code. It could be. Um, Alex says he doesn't BMX, though. There's never a, a bad time to start learning BMX. Uh, I, I started in my mid 20s. You're never too old. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, code breaker's just making a bit of a, a mince meat of that troll bot. And it's close, but I think they're away now. Got a sinusoidal path they're taking along the track. Oh, bashed into the troll bot. Can they get around this first corner successfully? Let's see. We did last year have somebody eject themselves into the gravel, not at this point, but further back around the track, uh, and just threw themselves into the gravel pit and got stuck. Oh, good line. If, if this was a reverse lap, this would be rather tasty. This is... Too is hugging the wall quite precisely um, but sadly there are no points for reverse lap so you'll have to uh, redo the bit of the track that you've just done in order to get points let's see you go around this troll bot oh just rubbing wheels up again there so john satterfield did not did not start uh, and codebreaker is currently stuck on a robot on the far side I think the wheels are still spinning. I can still see it moving, sort of twitching ever so gently. How how does that how does one avoid that problem that we're witnessing there, Tim? Um, so there is a uh, a bit of code that looks at uh, whether the image has changed. Um, the the thresholds could potentially be changed on that. Mm -hmm. uh, but perhaps it's a good idea to do something with a bit of time delay um, to sort of see, you know, have I pretty much been looking at the same image for a few seconds? And if I have, then do something. Yeah, random. do something. Hmm. So you know, a, a, a tight, um, a tight threshold for uh, for short periods of time, and a larger threshold for larger periods of time don't have to do it all in one line pro tip there looks like uh, Codebreaker could be stuck here for mm. the foreseeable uh, the wheels are still spinning but nobody's home right now certainly moved some of those robots about yes it's again going to give Aaron something to do <laughs> um, we need to keep him busy keeping the trolls in check is what we uh, what we employ him to do as well as the other herding of the robots. This doesn't look like a promising start for John Satterfield or Codebreaker here with uh, Nupoir on the boards. That's it. That's the end of their time. Three minutes is up. Oh, it's been a quiet one tonight. Last night we achieved seven laps. That was the uh, that was the, the top from last night. So 16 points. We'll go to... I can't remember who that was. Is that Chichi Chichi Pai Pai? Oh, My memory's work. worse than yours. I only work here. Um, <laughs> my memory's really good. I know my memory's usually really good, um, but I, I, I have a lot on at the moment. Um, my my job is currently very busy. Uh, product launch at work, so I'm developing like a, a demon and writing all the marketing stuff for it as well. And it's just like my head's in about eight different places. And that's the other thing I'm doing. That I've nearly finished off today, which everybody should, should celebrate, and I'm going to use this as my little soapbox right now. Saturday is uh, International Women in Engineering Day. So I am an engineer, for those that don't know. I am a, a software developer by day, working in the uh, CAD industry, sort of spanning aerospace and automotive and medical and lots of different places. Um, I deal with lots of different types of model from lots of different companies. Um, but on Saturday, there is the International Women in Engineering Day where we will be celebrating all the amazing women that work in engineering and who are inspirational and damn awesome. Um, so what I've done this week and last week I've been working with two of my wonderful colleagues, uh, Amy and Jeanette in, in the US, uh, who have been 
gracious enough to give me their time to sit down with me and, and do an interview and a profile about how awesome they are as engineers and what they do and what they love. Um, so I persuade everybody massively. If you know a lady who works in engineering who is inspirational, give them a shout out on Saturday. Just say, you are awesome and you are the best thing right now that's happening in engineering. You're so good at it. Tim's going to do it for me. I've already told him that this is what he's doing. He's not. He won't do this for me. I, tr- I blow my own trumpet all the time. I don't need any help. Um, but I will be promoting Amy and Jeanette and uh, showing off the amazing things they work on. So, yeah, watch out for my Twitter feed on Saturday and I'll be sharing those. Um, and, yeah, just get involved. The hashtag is uh, inwed18, I-N-W-E-D-18, 18. And uh, the other hashtag is raising the bar. And how are, how are you raising the bar in engineering to help promote diversity and equality and they're obviously very important things very close to my heart because obviously I've been a a female in the industry for quite some time now and it has got better than how it was 10 years ago but I still get the occasional oh you're an engineer which I'd really like to just nip in the bud have you done the uh... no see he's he's wigging me on now he's he's telling me to crack on and stop whinging about engineering (laughs) But that's Inwed. Inwed18 on Saturday. Please get involved. Um, and I'll see you on the hashtags. Right. Spin view. Let's go. Uh, are we half, we're more than halfway through, aren't we? After this one, I'll do the old sponsors. Right. Next up, we have another returning Formula Pi racer. It is Pico Holkenborg from Oxfordshire in the UK. They came 21st last year. Uh, they list their coding experience as some enough. I'd agree with that. I think that's a good uh, a good level of coding experience to have. And uh, they did all right last year. It was a bit of a mixed bag. Pico was incredibly helpful when it came to analysing the final and gave me a wonderful spreadsheet on the day that was live updated with people's scores so I could tell who was going to be in the final and who was doing what, where, when. It was really good. So hopefully Pico will be able to provide that sort of clinical advice again this year. And next up, another new team. We have Team Yoshi from Funabashi in Ch- uh, Chiba in Japan. They've been coding for half a year. Um, and I remember seeing them in testing, seem to do quite well in testing, so hopefully this should be good for them to get on and start their Formula Pi campaign with passion. That's it. We're done. We've got two, two there. Hold on, Tim. Spinview is still executing. He's about to equal his microphone. There we go. Ready to go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, start light sequence, please. <laughs> Sim UK says, I hear they're raising the bar in the gym. Yeah, I know, right? Too noisy. <laughs> Too noisy. And they're off. Both robots are away here. And it looks like Pico's got a great start. Flown past that first troll bot. Little bit of a disco dance on the corner. Picking where to go next. So Team Yoshi might have got stuck. But Team but Pico Hulkenborg is away. Ooh, a little bit of a bang there. They flip over in the uh, corner into the S's there. That was definitely good avoidance before the... That was definitely good avoidance. Uh, just a little bit tentative on choosing a line here, but it appears to be paying off. They are... Oof, big bash there, but nice bit of avoidance there. Lovely. Great work, Pico. I think I might call this the uh, the, the dot matrix. Because it's kind of the, the movement, the back and forth movement is very much like a dot matrix printer. That is me showing my age. Um, but it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, very kind of iterative, but it's working well for them. They might complete their first lap here. Team Yoshi have now freed themselves and they are making their moves around the track. Can they get around that last troll bot into the headbanger? They're both struggling. Ooh. So that looks like Yoshi has overtaken Pico. Oh, makes mince meat of those troll bots, but Pico's away now, so they're both going to clock up their first lap here. That'll be four points for Team Yoshi, two points for Pico, if things stay as they are. Let's see how they're doing. Nice little bit of avoidance, some good reversing work here from mm. people. Oh, lovely Pico Borg, bit of uh, swinging pattern there. Or is that, sorry, it's Team Yoshi that's done that. Uh, sorry, I, I got my robots mixed up. I saw the red top and thought it was a red light. Team Yoshi on two laps, uh, Pico on uh, about to get their second lap in there, well done. So that's four points, great work. So it's, like I said, seven laps was the biggest we achieved last night. Um, I realise I've just left my phone on, it's not on airplane mode. Naughty tuft. 
So Yoshi are coming now round for their fourth lap here, by the looks of it. Pico have self-righted themselves and are off again round the S's. It's almost like they're searching for something. It's like, uh, ooh, <laughs> Yoshi just collects Pico there. But managed to free themselves again, so now Yoshi's upside down, having a think. 20 seconds to go. Might fit in one more lap. Pico's coming around the bend here to complete third lap here. Good stuff. This is quite a good scoring round here. We're looking good. I've lost sight of Yoshi. I know Yoshi's there with the double troll bots at the end. Oh, fifth lap just squeezed in before the end of time there. So that is not the end of time completely, but like the end of this race. That'd be really bad. There's suddenly a meteorite just <laughs> blows everything up. It's not the end of time. It's just the end of the race. Um, so that is five points for t uh, five laps completed for Team Yoshi, and that is three laps completed for Pico Hulkenborg. That'll be twelve points for Team Yoshi and six points for Pico Hulkenborg. Tim, comments? Uh, some really good avoidance there. Uh, that was impressive. Delicate, simplistic, to the point, always. Uh, <laughs> never wasting his words. Tim Freeburn, everyone. Well, they're precious. Sorry. They're precious. They you are made precious. Me repeat that. Sorry, I did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Aaron has booted up the next two robots that are going to compete tonight. I'll do sponsors at the end. Sponsors at the end. Um, next up, we have Team Lamillo from Sedgefield in the UK. Uh, Dad has a fair bit of experience. Kids do, kids do Python at school. So jealous of anyone who says they do Python at school. I didn't do any coding until I got to university, really. And. Uh, yeah, so I'm jealous. They've, they've, they'll do well with coding that early. Uh, Team Lamilla came 16th last year in, in Formula Pi and are back again this year to do battle again. Hopefully, they will do really, really well, just like last year. It's brilliant. Great to have you back. And next up, four-time Formula Pi entrant. Didn't make the final until last year and then he smashed it and came second. It is Swinders from Waterlooville in the UK. He's been programming since 1983. Um, so lots of experience. Uh, like I said, came second last year. We were absolutely thrilled that uh, Swinders finally made it into the final after uh, after three attempts, um, which was just brilliant to see. And uh, great to have you back. We're pleased to see you again. Um, I feel like I've lost count, Tim. How many Formula Pies have we done? Three. We've done three. This is the fourth. Okay, it's fine. No, I just answered my own question. So you didn't even have to talk, didn't have to waste any words. Hasn't wasted any time. He's quite happy there as he is. Thumbs up. So has Swinders gone to red or is that still on power cycle? Is it Swinders? No, Lamillo is on the outside, isn't it? Swinders is green. Swinders is fine. Ready to go. Yeah, I think I, I didn't watch that through, but that does look like it's still in battery monitoring. It does. I think Aaron is going for a power cycle. He is going for a power cycle. Right, whilst Aaron does a power cycle, I'm going to do sponsors messages because it's a good time to do them. I should have done them earlier. So, as I say every night uh, we do this, that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the lovely people who backed us on our first Kickstarter when we when we launched this a couple of years ago. And it, we also wouldn't be here for the big... Uh, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the big sponsors that have helped with that too. So POSIX are here with their GPS, uh, localised GPS stuff. It's very, very good. It's used on the Raptor Borgs. So you'll see more of that later on this year. Uh, next up, Mod My Pie, lovely Jacob and the crew, always full of banter, and we always love seeing them. So we're going to miss you at Pie Fields, um, but we'll see you soon, hopefully. Tim, well, I'm sure we'll send him down. Uh, next up, Electromaker IO, who had two of their robots running last night, who did very, very well. I think they had three. Actually, no, they all three had run last night, didn't they? And they ran very, very well. They did a good job. And another competitor and sponsor, IQ Audio, uh, lovely uh, audio hats and DAX. Also, you might win an IQ Audio hat if you do really, really well this year because they've got prizes. So they're doing well too. And Pimeroni, who you all know and love. They did a bilge tank today on their My Nature, My Nature Watch camera that we saw on Spring Watch. So it's worth watching that and catching up with that lovely build. They had some beautiful pictures of goldfinches. Yeah. It was very nice. Um, info at FormulaPi.com if you'd like to sponsor Formula Pi, get in touch with us if you just want to say hi. Also, that's the address for you to send stuff to, as well as Twitter at Formula Pi underscore and at Pi underscore Borg. And we do our best to keep an eye on those and keep in touch with you. Are we good to go? 
Well, it's looking like uh, it's red now, so uh, I think it's booted up okay this time. Excrement. Um, just waiting for the <laughs> two minute uh, from Aaron. Right. So we're waiting for Aaron to just let us know that everything is okay. I've got pins and needles in my foot. <laughs> oh, I've got to shuffle myself. There we go. And there we are. Oh, that's it. We've got the message. That's Tim with his thumb up. Yes, please. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start the light sequence, please. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck, Swinders. Uh, good luck, team. Good luck, team Lamillo. See how we do. I see Jolyon is uh, in the chat from Team Lamillo. Ooh, I think that was straight into a uh, power cycle. You are kidding. Uh, I looked across at the chat just to catch up with what everyone's saying, and I just missed that. So Swinders off the line. Smashing into the first robot, power cycle. So, fingers crossed that uh, you have some code to recover you if the robot starts and comes back into green. If not, we can pray for Lamillo, giving you a bit of a punt. So it's, this is tense times for Swinders. Have have they put the code in? We'll see, Lamillo struggling to get around that second troll bot here. Ah, oh, Swindus says no power cycle code. No! No! <laughs> no! Oh, that is tragic news. Well, but hopefully you'll get nudged. A bit um, of a punt might yeah. sort you out. If uh, Team Lamillo can, can come around and complete their first lap, they can just ram into the back of you. But they look like they're beached as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dearie me. This, uh, this is not going to plan. Swindus says it's on the list. <laughs> I imagine it might have moved a few positions up the list after tonight. Uh, <laughs> Jillian from uh, the Team Lamillo team says, if we get around the track, we'll definitely crash into you. That's the spirit. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Helping the teams out. I can hear like rumbling, because I think that robot is fairly close to being above Tim's head. It's now top of the list, Swindus says. It's now, now top of the list. Uh, Oh, tragic. So we've got to talk for a minute now, and if, if Lamello cannot free themselves, this is another nil point race. <laughs> Might need some new tyres after this. Might need some new tyres that are burning out on things. <laughs> that, right, that is spinning quite violently. Uh, they will have proper uh, bald patches on them. <laughs> it will not pass its MOT when it goes to robot garage. Tim, hmm. this year, are we... Uh, doing different challenges or are we having the same challenge every time uh, at the moment we are having the same challenge every time and I think that probably finishes that discussion that uh, because we, we're so late at uh, getting to this I think we're going to have to keep the same challenges Okay. because uh, it's not really fair to, to just dump it's, things on people not. at the last minute it's so. not uh, but I was merely asking because I remember we had a discussion about it towards the end of last year uh, this is not looking promising for Lamillo or Swinders tonight. Not the ideal start to their Formula 5 campaigns, if I'm honest. But that is slowly ticking down. That's it. So, another nil point session. Not so good, but hopefully this is it now. That, that's your one that it hasn't, hasn't gone very well. And the next ones will be much, much better. So, you're always saying nil point, but what about mobile languages? You might have to learn a few phrases. might have to learn a few more phrases. I'm, I'm going with the Eurovige null point, which is, is generally in French. Or English. No points. No point. They don't, I don't think they do any other languages. Do they? Oh, Swindus says his barbecue's nearly done. He's got chicken on the barbecue. It's nearly finished. Oh, jealous. Mm. Oh, good weather for that. We have a barbecue. If, if you want to buy all the stuff and go and put it on, yeah. But if, if you were, if we, we, we could have a barbecue. We can, well, let's talk about this when we, when we leave. It might be a bit late. But... It could be, and judging by the state of the traffic out there, uh, we should be here all night probably. <laughs> we'll be running Formula Pi into the early hours just for lols because we can. Right, next up, uh, our penultimate challenge teams for tonight. 
Uh, we have on the left hand lane with the red light, we have the Think Robot team from Villeneuve Dask in France. Uh, they have many years of coding experience, um, and but are new to Formula Pi, so it'll be interesting to see how they get on this year with robot number 113. Um, I remember seeing this lid because it ended up at our house. I'm not quite sure how it ended up at our house and not at the office. I think mum and dad bought it around, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So that's been through uh, Mr. and Mrs. Tufty's hands and uh, made it to us, but good to see you. And another new entrant for Formula Pi on the outside lane here tonight with the green light robot underneath it is Megawatt Pi from Sydney in Australia. Uh, they have XLVBA experience of 10 years. Uh, that I seem to remember that's the first thing I ever coded anything in. Mm. Just, just in case anyone's interested. No one's interested. But it's, you know, strong language. It's been around a long time. Very powerful. It's good to see. So it'll be interesting to see how they get on with uh, Python scripting, which is probably quite different to VBA, I would imagine, from what I've from what I've done with VBA, which was about eighteen years ago. <laughs> but that was that was that was the first language I was ever allowed to code in, and I was never formally taught programming at school. But my IT teacher, because obviously in, in the UK, before all of the wonderful things that the Pi Foundation and the Microbit have been doing to try and get computing in schools. Um, the only thing you could take in the UK when you wanted to do computers was basically a Microsoft GCSE. It was like, can you use Word? Can you use Excel? Can you use Access? Um, and my teacher saw that I was really interested in computers and, and quite enjoyed tippity tapping on a keyboard. So they always set me the challenge that if I could finish my work before the end of the lesson, I would be allowed to go and mess around with VBA and go and write functions and routines and stuff and just process so data. you wrote some autonomous code for uh, robots. That was obviously the, the natural progression. Yeah. Uh, not at all. I think I just we played around. Ready. Shall we go? Yeah, we should go. Um, I just messed around because it was, you know, I was allowed. Okay, start light sequence, please. So, shout out to um, my IT teacher, Mr. Chitton, who let me do that. Um, he was. Uh, he saw I had potential, so I thought I'd let, he'd let me play, and it was the best thing he could have done. So I, I've lost sight of the uh, Think Robot there. They just went underneath the first camera, and uh, Megawatt have got stuck straight off the bat, but Think are away. That's a few robots that have just gone straight into that uh, inside one. Isn't yeah, it? and I think that's that's reflective of uh, how people are actually racing. They're thinking about well the best thing for me to do during racing is actually to dive to that inside lane and if we put something like a troll bot there or there's a crash you're scuppered from the get-go um you know it's very difficult to to get back from that so that is the uh, think robot team now going backwards around the track upside down uh, the upside down used to be a bad place but it's not so bad now i hear um oh that reminds me we have not watched stranger things season two there's a note for later. <laughs> so I think Robot now half a lap back, so I have to complete that. Uh, Swinders is congratulating you for choices of the Trollbot position tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was... Um, <laughs> Tim did let me walk up last night and have a look at them before we started. He was like, does this seem fair? And we did shuffle some of them, because some of them were quite brutal. Um, I tried to make it a bit more reflective of what you'd get in racing but without being horrendously mean because we do get lots of crashes that stop us as soon as we'll be able to tell us um, there was a, a horrendous crash in the final uh, and four people crashed in his heat and he managed to come back and get a second so you know it's crashes are a regular thing in Formula Pi so being prepared for them and being ready to work out how you're going to get around them is the best thing so think robot here have got one lap on the board that's two points in the bag uh, megawatts still there to complete but I think this could be their first lap yes it is there we go one lap each with a minute left to go potential two or three laps to get in here we could get not quite the heights we hit last year uh, last night was seven laps that was the uh, biggest number of laps we got <laughs> somebody is suggesting that I say keiner punkt in Germany uh, in German uh, what, instead of null there's one. a good knee on the end of it yes keiner punkte yeah Tim speaks German. I do not speak German. I pretend like I speak German. Tim lived in Germany for a year and uh, 
despite having a terrible memory and unable to remember anything, he actually speaks better German than he does English. <laughs> That's not true. But... It is, though. <laughs> Strangely, I can remember some things in German that uh, I just can't remember the English words for. And that often happens. We'll be having a conversation and he won't be able to remember the English word for something, but he'll just come out with a German word because it's the word he can think of quicker for some reason. Maybe it's because German is a more efficient language. They're a more efficient <laughs> nation. And it's just more efficient in your brain. Maybe it's just because I'm very broken. Maybe that too. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's it. Race over. So uh, Think Robot got three laps in there. That's six points plus two for the win. That's eight points. Megawatt got two points on the board. So that is good. Good start for both robots there. Um, yeah. Comments? In German. Go. Uh, das war ziemlich interessant. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> es ist seit sieben Jahren, es ist sieben Jahre, seit ich Deutsch gesprochen habe. Es ist ziemlich schwer für mich, aber ja. Yeah. Genau. Genau. Das ist so all I can say to that. Um, <laughs> so there's no null point there or kind of point on there. For, for these two teams they've got points on the board which is good seven was the, the best result we had last night I can't remember who it was though which were it's really bad it's been a long day it's been a long 24 hours actually hasn't it <sighs> nearly there now uh, two more to go before we close off this session for tonight and uh, we'll see you in two weeks time once these final two robots have gone so first up tonight we have uh, Makerspace Randers who uh, ran last night their robot did not boot it was actually a, a fault on our part we uh, did the card installation uh, system wrong so tonight we've done that I formatted that. the card Tim formatted the card I wasn't supposed to I mean really who does that um <laughs> You'd never format any of the cards. Aaron was very annoyed. Uh, but we're back. We've got your card back. We've got your code uploaded. Tonight, now, it should be good to go. Uh, make a space Randers from Randers in Denmark, our first Danish contestants. And finally, the last team to join us tonight will be Team Rosie from Melbourne in, uh, Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. They have limited coding experience, um, but it's good to see. It's nice to see a mix of coding experiences across the board here at Formula 1. We've been Melbourne? coding for 40. What did you Sorry? say, Melvin? Melvin. Melvin. Right. I said Melbourne first and, yeah. and completely because in my head I had Melbourne um, but I, I'm just all my words are everywhere tonight uh, but yeah Team Rosie limited coding experience but great to see because it's nice to see a, a variety of coding experiences coming to, to Formula 5 to have a go to learn about autonomous vehicles to learn about autonomous software it's really nice to see somebody's now asking for Italian well, you know <laughs> You have a go at that one. I don't speak any Italian. I'm sure you do. Well, I... Li- no, literally, I don't. It, it's, <laughs> uh, we're saved by the bell. <laughs> we're sa- we are saved by the fact that we've got to get racing now. It's, it's avoided in me having to guess what it would be in Italian. Okay, start light sequence, please. <laughs> so, Team Rosie and uh, Team Makerspace Randers. That's 115. The uh, board hasn't been updated. And they're off. That is two robots away. So now the code has worked for Team Rosie and uh, Team Rand. The Makerspace Randers there. Excellent. I can see Carl is in the, the chat from the team. Uh, we, we made a mistake with your code. It's now, wor- it's now working, she says. Um, it's moving. I'm not sure that's quite what you were intending, but it is moving. Um, Swinders asks, how many, team, how many countries are represented this season? Ah, um, Did you know this factoid? This is an interesting factoid. Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, I can look at. I'll have to have a look up in a, after the event. But uh, yeah, I'm going to say twelve. You have access to that. Probably. I do. Yeah, I could. I could go and look. Um, let's see if I do actually have. Kind of looking about now seeing if I actually have access to this nope I might do so I have a a computer here which has the power of the world so I can find out uh, who how many countries are in so look rego there we go I found it 
Where are we? Summer Monster? That's where we're at, isn't it? Hopefully this will load on the other screen. It does, whilst these two robots are dancing about. So let's see, let's count up. Oh, it doesn't tell me countries. Uh, it just uh, gives me email addresses. Doesn't tell me countries. Oh, where are uh, you going? That's not what I was intending for you to open. All right. Uh, oh, they, we can just count the number of flags. Yep. Ah, clever. So, in counting the number of flags, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I'm going to say nine countries. Ten. Ten countries. <laughs> ten. Eleven. Eleven. Any advances oh. on ten? Any advances on ten? Advances on ten. Um, I can see the UK, Spain, uh, Switzerland, Germany, France, the Netherlands, Denmark, Japan, and America. Pretty sure we had a Canadian. We had a Canadian last year. We did have a Canadian last year. So yeah. Four Australians, though. <laughs> Heavy Australian contingent this year. So this looks like this could be curtains now for Team for Make Space Rounders and Team Rosie. That is, again, a zero point round. Everyone got stuck uh, and could not move. That is such a shame. They were so close to completing a lap, though, Team Rounders. Um, that is just unlucky. But that's it. We're done for tonight. Uh, finished. So... Announcements, I guess. Uh, we'll we'll see you at Raspberry Fields if you come in. Uh, we'd love to see you there if, you, if you're in the area. Pop in and say hello. Um, I'll probably be looking quite frazzled on the pie ball stand for the whole weekend. Tim will be... Are we allowed to say what we're doing yet? No, still not allowed to say what I'm doing yet. Um, just 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 bear in mind that there'll be there's something awesome that's going to be happening. And, and yeah, it'll be great. You'll love it. Promise. Uh, come by and see us it's, it'll be wonderful to see you we'll be there both days I'll be talking on the Saturday about Formula Pi um, and yeah we'll see you in two weeks for racing um, th or is there a testing session between the two you've got the dates I've got the dates quickly running to the dates running to the dates running 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 nope straight to racing so 4th of July oh American Independence Day great job mm. oh god that's going to be a really busy day for me I've got that person visiting me at work on that particular day. Right. Mm. So I might be late for that one. We'll have to wait and see. Um, race one will be on the 4th of July. Race one, uh, the spillover rounds will be on the 5th of July. We also have the 6th of July just in case. But the 4th of July is when you want to be joining us, American Independence Day. Um, I feel like I should have a hat or something to celebrate it or a little flag. Um, or every robot should have an American flag on top of it just to celebrate it, to, you know be down with it um, Tim's saying goodbye cut the feed he wants me to go he wants, he's hungry he wants his tea Barbecue. so good night everyone uh, we will see you in two weeks time 4th of July uh, have a good couple of weeks we'll be in touch about racing and stuff to let you know more details over email as usual uh, check, check you later bye bye check everyone. you later rubbish <laughs> my face is just everywhere good night everyone <laughs>